Roswell Flight Test Crew, still here at FlySafe 2014 in Las Vegas. However, you're seeing this video about a week after the event ended because I'm here with Kim. Hey, Kim. Hey, how you doing? And Mark. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Hey. From Thunder Power, who've got kind of a secret message for us. So secret that we can't tell it at FlySafe, but we can tell you waiting at home. So what's the big news? All right, well, for a while, people have been asking us, what's the next big, what's the next big thing? Where, where is, where is this hobby or this industry going to next? So we kind of figured out, well, what's next? It's not higher sea weighting. Machines are not drawing more power. They're not demanding more. What's more, people have always been asking for lighter batteries, more milliamp. We couldn't do that without stepping it a little bit further than what it is today. So we're actually, we're very, very happy to introduce that pretty soon and hopefully by January 2015, we're gonna have Thunder Power high voltage line of cells for all the multi rotor purposes. Techenstein sort of briefed me up on this, but that means instead of a nominal charge of 3.7 per cell, it'll be higher, right? Yep, absolutely. It's going to be 3.8 per cell and a fully charge of uh, 4.35 per cell. Now, what will be the, I mean, you'll have more power, but sort of what are going to be the practical advantages of that for the multi-rotor pilot out there? Uh, higher energy, you're talking about higher energy density, you're talking about consistency, you're talking about packing about 20% more milliamp into the same footprint as a regular 4.2 lipo cell, pretty much. So, it's it, it, it's kind of like a gap above lipos. I call, I call it, personally, I call it super lipos, but they're, you know, they're definitely better in every single way. They're lighter compared to their size. They, they kind of pack a little bit more extra punch and the main thing is you don't have to change anything as far as your settings. It's so efficient. It's more efficient. So really, so and this sounds like an enormous boon, particularly for multi-rotors, because we're always fighting weight. Exactly. Weight is just crucial. So these are going to give us more kick in less mass. Correct. That's, right. That's fantastic. Yes, That's more, fantastic. more power, consistency is going to be much better since, yeah, you know, the normal ESC, I believe, cuts out at about 3.2 and those cells will still provide a very continuous power down to 3.2. That, that would be the point to where you'll start noticing the difference. So you're talking about, over a, a normal LiPo, you're talking about gaining an extra mo few more minutes of just raw power rather than need to kind of preserve stuff coming towards the end because you're scared to take it too far that you might not have that power to make it back. Yeah. Now I know normally you don't want to overtax a LiPo, you don't want to pull them down that correct, low. Are correct. these going to be more, is that not going to be such an issue with these? Uh, you're still talking about draining them to about the same voltage Okay. as far as the low voltage cutoff. Any battery that you're going to drain too low, you're going to damage it. Right, right, They're, okay. You know, unless you're talking about deep cycle batteries, but we all know how much of a pain those can be sometimes. <laughs> and we're, and we're not going to be flying around a car battery under our multi-rotor. Right? Exactly. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. It's a shame we have to wait a week to tell you guys, but I'm sorry. So it, it's, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. It's worth yeah. it. Well, besides, they know now. They're watching the video. Yes. Anyway, guys, thank you so Absolutely. much. It's a real pleasure to meet you guys here. Nice talking sure. with you. So, from FlySafe 2014, with our secret message, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.